In Photoshop 2024, you can apply a method of stripes. Stripes are really great for creating basically stripes. Really useful new feature. So let's just remove that. Go to the gradient tool. Here's the gradient tool. And I'm going to use this gradient type. So gradient. And then click here. And you've got a whole range of different gradients. You've got purples, pinks, etc. Now if I go for one of these gradients, normally it would be very blurry. So if I apply it just normally, perceptual, just like that, you can see you've got a blurry gradient. But if I go up here and go to method of stripes, select that, and now apply it, you can see you get a very different result. You get stripes. <laughs> really useful because now you can apply these are great equidistant stripes. So I'm just going to select this one and you can see again you get this sort of effect. Very quick and easy to create some truly weird and wonderful designs. So let's just select another one. So let's say that one. And you can see now, see that one doesn't have much. Another one, and this one. And again, you get these absolutely glorious equidistant stripes. Now you can use this, of course, to great effect. Say you could create ones that have got black, white, black, white, black, white, all kinds of different ring designs, or red and green, red and green, etc. So you can apply this. And of course, what you can also do is you can duplicate this design. So it's a layer. If you go over here to the layers panel, you can see you've got this. You can go to layer and you can duplicate that. So you can create another one, click OK, and you can drag that over here. And now you can go over to blend modes and you can go down here and you can see as you do that, you can create overlay, say, to create some truly interesting, super colourful designs which can combine in multiple different ways. Let's just remove that now. What you can also do, gain gradient tool. Go up here and instead of gradient, you can go for the classic gradient, which is the one that was previous formats of gradient. And you can apply that as well. And again, you've got the option here, perceptual, but now you've got stripes. So stripes, just drag it out. And you've got this lovely stripe design, which of course you can modify and apply effects to it. So filter, maybe go for blur, Gaussian blur, and obviously apply too much of a blur. But you can create some really truly unusual blurred effects like that. Or maybe go for filter and distort and go for twirl or wave. So wave. And you can see then if I just change that, change that, click OK. And you can create some very unique gradient designs or line or radial designs like that. But I've been using radial. What you can also do, instead of, let's just change that from difference again to normal, you can go for linear. So linear, let's just apply it. So now you can get a lovely set of lines. Maybe go the other way. Let's just go down 45 degrees. And you gain, you've got a lovely set of lines. Now, if you do go and change blend mode, so let's just go down here and change it to difference. Go different angle. Again, using 45 degrees by holding down the shift. Release. You can create a square gradient design, lots and lots of squares very quickly as well, which again you can manipulate using various filters, stylize, etc. So let's undo that. Go up here again, set that to normal. What you can do, you've got this option as well, the angle option. So angle gradient, just apply that, and then you've got that design. Exact same as before, you can go to the blend modes, again, go maybe to difference or one of the others. And you can apply maybe a different start point, And you can see you can create this very fractured design very quickly and easily in Photoshop. And of course, you can then manipulate that. You could, of course, add it onto multiple different layers. Also, you can go over here and you've got reflected gradient. So select that. And let's just undo those so you can just see it without difference. And let's just go for normal. And you can apply that, and you can see then you get this lovely line zone. We've got the blue, the blue there, and you've got the green in the center. You've got all the colors here. So you click here, maybe select a different one, and apply that. And you can see and create some really, truly beautiful rainbow effects very quickly in Photoshop. You've also got this option as well. So go up here, and this one is the diamond one, and it creates a lovely square design or diamond. You drag that out, and you gain. You've got these lovely red, etc., blue, I should say, in the center, 
all the way out to green. Or apply this or there and so on to create all kinds of different designs. That's using the new feature of stripes. So stripes, select that, and then you can create all these lovely, wonderful, equidistant designs very quickly in Photoshop. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Also, will you be using this in Photoshop? Do you think it's a really useful features with this new tool? A like or dislike or thumbs up or thumbs down, always appreciated. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, as well as Affinity Photo, Designer and many others. Bye.